here we go then. So it's uh, oh, it's about 20 past seven this morning, and I'm just out here to uh, reel the fence in to give the cows another strip of fresh grass. Uh, quite an unusual thing now for this time of year. I'm I'm recording this. I think it's the third of November, so I'm not sure when I'm going to put this on YouTube. But basically, third of November. Normally by now, I've got no fresh grass left in the fields. But this year, it seems slightly different. And I think what it is is the grass died out in the summer. It's come back and it's actually kept growing, almost like new spring grass. So I've still got a bit of fresh grass in the fields. Um, and you can see now behind me, you can, see, can you see just over my shoulder there, you can see a line, uh, which I'm still strip grazing. So that's yesterday's grass there, which they had. Th today's grass they're gonna have is there. Now, someone asked me, I did a video the other day about uh, fresh grass and how many days, you know, what, what I mean by saying I know I've got five days grass left in front of me or whatever. Well, what it is, is the amount of grass left like that that I can graze. Uh, because now it's getting cold, the grass isn't really growing, so that bit behind me isn't going to really grow back. So literally I've got sort of five days worth of feed that I can go on, or seven days worth of feed that I can go on like that fresh, give them a fresh bit every day. Once that's run out, which it will do, there isn't any more fresh grass on the farm, so it just feels like this, grazed. Uh, and that's when I'm going to have to definitely open the silage clamp because I can let them out in the day to nibble around a few bits, but basically um, there won't be enough to fill them up. And I'm hoping if it stays dry, we can carry on like that for a bit longer and it might save our silage for a while. But anyway, let's have a look. I've got to, um, I've just got to reel this fence in. Still got my milking gloves on, because I have been milking, my brother's taking over that now. Just got to reel this fence in. Um, because what we do is we strip graze here so that they don't eat it all at once because the biggest problem is if I let them in this field they would it's like a kids if you give them a buffet they'll and they, you just let them have everything they'll eat all the good stuff first and they'll waste quite a bit whereas this they've eaten it well look they haven't trampled and pooed over all of it because if once they're full they'll just sit down and lie on it this bit is going to be good so um yeah, anyway, let's have a look in a minute. I'm going to uh, just carry on down here, taking this fence in. I can't believe it. it's really mild. It's frosty yesterday. Um, but today is quite a lovely day. I think it's going to be a nice sunny day, actually. There's a few clouds in the sky, but I think they'll burn off later. Um, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, this wire just hooks in here, like that. On these insulators stop the electric current from earthing down the uh, poles and we just put a little electric current through that with a battery um, and it just they don't ever it didn't give them a zap really it just sort of like enough to stop them thinking i'm going to go and have a munch through there let's have a look what's interesting is you can see the reach of a cow because they still get their heads under the wire to eat the grass the other side but they don't um they can't they don't walk through Right, so there you go. Let me just, uh, I'm going to turn this off now and we'll have another look when I'm back at the top wheeling it, winching it in. Okay, so I've taken all the stakes up. There they are. Sun's really coming up now, beautiful morning. There's the last bit now, look. Finish, there's the insulator there to stop the electric current earthing onto the fence. So I just tighten that up. So I'm going to leave that equipment here to pick up another day in the Lamb Rover, my fencing kit. Take the fencer with me, that's the most valuable bit and I'm not leaving that line around. Take that back with me. But uh, we'll just have a quick look at the grass. You can see here, for November, what I call a good bite on the ground. Quite a nice lot of um, grass there, as opposed to this where they've eaten it. Look, completely bare, no back grazing there, to a nice bit of grass. Anyway, let's go let the cows in here, they'll be coming in for breakfast. 
probably about quarter to eight in the morning now, I expect. I had to wait till it got light before I could get down here. Come on in. Come on. Come on. Here they come. Come on. That one's licking its lips, look. I'm ready for breakfast, he's saying. Hello. Come on. In you go. Oh look, they've spotted the electric fence there, wondering what that's about. Come on. They'll be alright. Go on. Hello. Like I'm a lawnmower, animal lawnmower. Well, this is lovely. I've never known an autumn quite so dry. It's um, a very dry November so far. Late October was very dry, so it's wonderful they can stay out here. Hello. And they're loving this grass, aren't you? Hey, that is a nice mouthful, isn't it? And there's where they were grazing the other day. Look, there's nothing left there. That's what I mean. I'm going to run out of grass on the farm eventually when all this lovely fresh grass is gone. Right, so I'm heading back to the farm now to carry on with all the other jobs. <laughs> 